you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for joining me. And thank you for clicking on that like button, hitting subscribe, and also that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm going live or posting new readings. Today, I am shuffling for the Libra Collective's Greatest Good and the overall energy for March 2023. All right, Spirit, what does the Libra Collective need to know for their greatest good for March 2023? Thank you. Can I have one more, Spirit? Can I have just one more? So, so far we have strategy. Let's see if we can get another car. I'm getting developing plans. Um, you might have be starting to um, maybe get plans to travel or um, start planning on doing something different with your life, uh, maybe a different career move. Um, I feel like there, it's big changes coming along. Something that you're really thinking the details about what else do we need can i have one more card for the overall energy spirit a man holding a heart um so maybe you might be changing your course or developing plans uh, because you're about to start a new relationship or this relationship is bringing you somewhere where you didn't think you'd be. Um, I am really getting that you're trying to be detailed about these plans, thinking it over a lot. Um, maybe this involves moving in together or purchasing a home together. Um, this could also be uh, a new love coming in. Uh, I'm, I'm unfortunately though getting that you're like almost doing it like in a manipulative way. Like you shouldn't have to have planned details on a, a love coming in or getting a love. Um, hopefully it's more of you manifesting it than trying to, um, manipulate something along those lines um hopefully maybe you've been like journaling or um or thinking about the type of person that you want in your life the qualities you want them to have um you know the universe loves specifics because if you don't then the universe likes to just bring in anybody honestly so um you know when you manifest make sure you're being specific with um with what you're attracted to and how the qualities you want this person to have um whether it be male or female it doesn't have to be uh, a man but i feel like this this masculine energy is coming towards you who is going to offer you some sort of um commitment or i'm getting i just heard cup of coffee maybe like a coffee date um like a day date Maybe you're going to get, um, go out for lunch or something along those lines. Um, maybe a picnic. I just heard a picnic. That's kind of cute. Um, but there's, there's something to brew with. Something's brewing. There's something changing. Like I said, this could also be a move that I'm feeling it's, it's go, it's, this has been uh, being worked on for a long time. You might not realize it, but the universe has been trying to get this uh, going for a little while. So let's see what uh, the tarot cards are saying regarding Libra in a general reading for March. Spirit, what do they need to know regarding March 2023? For our Libras. What do the Libra Collective mean to know for their greatest good? What does the Libra Collective need to know for their greatest good?
Yep, did I tell you? Changes. This is a tower card. Changes are coming in. Uh, for some of you, they might not be planned. Yep, magician. This is you going after your own changes. You saying, okay, this is what I want to do. Let's make it happen. And you are making changes for yourself. We have the five of wands. So life might get a little chaotic during these times. But, you know, after chaos, there's always the calm. So you're going to get through these changes. It's not going to be easy. But change usually isn't. Um, no matter what that change is. It could be a totally planned change. And it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Um, doing something regarding change is always hard. Um, being outside your box, being outside your comfort zone is never an easy thing. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is going to be something that is going to benefit you uh, going forward. Um, it's going to be a steady, a steady increase of, um, of positivity. You're going to slow, it's not going to be a, um, it's not going to be uh, like a quick coming to you. It's going to be a an, a long-term kind of uh, a reward. It's going to benefit you in for the long term. Uh, this could be something to do with finances or an opportunity to increase your finances so maybe you're moving or coming into something along those lines so let's clear the tower for our libras please all of them okay thank you okay we have the high priestess the empress two very very highly divine feminine cards right here and the ten of swords in reverse Okay, so this is Divine Feminine Energy. This could be you or somebody in your energy. Um, this is, things are going to be productive. Things are going to get going. Things are going to be fruitful coming through. This could also mean a pregnancy. Maybe it's a good, if you're trying to get pregnant, this might be a good time for you to um, to start that. It's a good time to for you to uh, get pregnant. If you aren't looking to reproduce then please take precautions be careful um, because it is a a good time for for uh for reproduction um this is also a good time to get uh stuff moving things are going to move forward if you start something now it's gonna you're gonna see a lot of growth a lot of moving forward um and this is your, I, I don't want to say you don't have to do much to get it started, you're, but because you've put in so much hard work, it's going to speak for itself is what I'm hearing. Um, all of your work is going to speak for itself. All of um, your energy and everything that you've been putting out is going to come back to you. So you are going to have to, I don't want to say give it, give it a lot of thought. But it's what you've already been doing that is going to make you move ahead. It's nothing you're doing now. You don't have to take action of any kind to uh, get these this process going, to get this harvest growing. Whatever you want to be to move into fruition. This is already something that's been planted. This is already something that has taken growth. This is already something that is been thought about. Um, and this could be like a romance. This could be something to do with a career. This could be schooling. Um, this could be something with your family. But um, something has already been, a, plead, a seed had, has already been planted. There's something already coming along. And it's not something you need to take action on right now. Um, there's already growth there. There's already, something's already growing. The universe is already has something in the works for you. So you don't need to take action on anything right now. Um, things are already happening 
in the universe to get you to where you need to go. And you have been receiving a lot of compliments. Uh, the universe is seeing that you are working hard, doing what you have to do. Um, maybe you're leveling up and maybe um, you're... See, the thing is when, you know, people turn to spirituality and they kind of like talk to talk but don't always walk to walk. And I feel like this universe is seeing you actually living your life the way you are um, speaking. You know, if you're like, you know, I want to be a better person. I want to, do, you know, level up in, in my spirituality. Well, the universe sees you trying to work towards these goals, trying to work towards what you're manifesting and um, understands that this is what you want and you're living your life the way that you, you want to live it, the way you see it going. Okay, so let's clarify this magician card. Spirit, what did you mean about the magician card? Now, a magician card is about manifesting and taking action on that manifestation, knowing that you just sitting on your couch doing nothing isn't going to get you anywhere. You are taking action. Like if your dream is to become a teacher where you're going to do everything you can to, to uh, achieve those goals. If you want to become, you know, a surgeon, you're going to do everything you can to achieve those goals. Spirit says take all of them. There's still lessons that you need to learn though. So yes, you might want to gravitate towards whatever it is you're manifesting. You are seeking and working on it, but there are still some lessons to learn. So you still have a little ways to go before you're um, going to attain those things. Doesn't mean it's not happening. It just means it's going to take time. There's some work you need to put into it. Okay, so let's see here. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. There is some heartbreak here. Um <sighs> It looks like you might be entering into a relationship. That you had to cut people off for. You might feel like you're losing your independence in this relationship. Um, I feel like you're giving somebody the cold shoulder. Maybe you're trying to break free from something. Maybe you're in a relationship maybe where you are um, trying to gain back your independence. Try to cut somebody off being cold. But then I have like, remember I was talking about manipulation? This is like a card of manipulation. You're trying to manipulate some, somebody's, try, or somebody's trying to manipulate your emotions. Coming in like super charming, super lovey, super flirty. Just to, to manipulate you and like steal your happiness. You know, this could be a third party or somebody who doesn't want what's best for you. Maybe you're going for a promotion and somebody is, uh, you know, put, try to put a kink on that or spreading rumors or something along those lines. But, um, there's, there's some, somebody in your energy is trying to manipulate something emotionally for you. Um, this could be even friends. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be friends, family, uh, but there's somebody who is, uh, I'm hearing being strategic, winning at all costs. And if this costs your emotional happiness, it doesn't matter to them. And they're ready to cut you off. They don't care. So somebody in your energy is, or it could, this could be a group of people is not out for your greatest good. Does not necessarily want to see you happy. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, which is about being defensive. Sarah, what? Okay. 
Okay. A bunch of cards came out here too. Okay. So we have the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Are you defending this King of Wands energy to somebody? Is there um, a reason that this King of Wands is, is needing defending? What is this person doing that you have to defend them? Or is it them defending you to somebody? Um, I'm getting somebody has, somebody has a different plan for you, wants you to be with somebody else. Somebody wants you to be with a, a more immature Um, maybe it's trying to hook you up with somebody that's more immature or doesn't take relationships seriously, kind of, um, maybe somebody's coming in with this offer that just wants to like, you know, is not ready to open up to you emotionally and just wants to have fun. Um, or this could be, you know, this this king of wands energy could be you know yeah i have everything like this king of wands energy is somebody who is um creative and passionate and uh talks to everybody and likes to have fun and is down to be spontaneous um but this person could also have a side that's super mature and likes to do stupid shit and won't open up emotionally um so maybe this is the same person who is just um is just not ready not ready for the, a relationship or just wants to focus on uh you know maybe when they're alone with you they want to oh see no but this is a soulmate connection now we have the king and the queen of wands this is a power couple so maybe both of you own your own businesses or both of you are able to take care of yourselves independently. And um, now that you're together, you're, I mean, this is a power cup. This is a lot of energy. This is definitely people who know what they want. When you guys walk into a, a party or a place, all heads turn and was like, they're here. People enjoy your company. You radiate. Uh, you can talk about big things or you know have small talk um like i said you're just down for anything uh and you're friends with everybody it's like um people just want to bask in your in this this energy that you guys um emanate so it's like this is this is a huge huge soulmate reading this is a soulmate energy right here so i feel like somebody's trying some little schmuck <laughs> it's trying to come in and maybe uh disjoint you guys uh this could be male or female but some somebody's trying to get in between here but there is a there's nothing separating you guys you guys are are strong powerful creative passionate um super energetic big energy there Okay, so this is the King of Cups in reverse. This could be um, an ex of some sort. Um, doesn't have any kind of emotional attachment towards you. Uh, this could be somebody you're estranged from. Maybe a father figure or an old boss. Maybe somebody's hitting you up for, um, for you to come back to the company. Or something along those lines. Or this could be maybe a father of of your children that you from a previous relationship uh but they're in your energy the this person is that there isn't a connection there a love connection uh this person has no emotional ties to you but they're in, definitely in your energy why is this king of cups in Libra's energy it doesn't have to be masculine this could be not gender specific Ooh, this person you really really have this person makes your you kind of sad 
like not angry like drains you emotionally like when you have contact with this person they're like sucking the energy out of you is what i'm getting somebody that you this could be maybe a client like an emotional suck for some reason but this is some like not somebody you enjoy spending time with but the good news is they're not going to be in your energy for long because you are um trying to cut them off you're going into um some it's going to be rough cutting them off it might be a little bit before they get the hint or you're able to cut them off but this person they're not easy to hang around with whoever this person is in your energy you put on this like face of um you know you do what you have to do that's why i'm thinking like maybe they're a client or like you're being polite maybe it's like in-laws or something uh but this person really sucks your energy uh it's it's not it's not a good situation let, let me clarify makes you uncomfortable i'm hearing uncomfortable what's going on with this king of cups and reverse energy and the six of swords in reverse this could be somebody you haven't heard from in a while um this could be somebody that changed your life maybe you had a one night stand with them or changed your life maybe you got pregnant from this situation and now you have the, these kids to share or this child uh that you have to that you're raising with this person that you don't really know that well um but it this whatever this person changed your life you were passionate about with a one time or or another at one time or another there's there was a lot of passion there maybe you met them when you were traveling or at school at college So this might be somebody who is just passing through um, in your life. Which makes sense if it's the King of Wands energy, because we got the King of uh, the Knight of Wands energy, rather. It's quick in and out. So, I mean, this might have been somebody you had an attachment with once upon a time, but didn't spend a lot of time with. And changed your life. Maybe you learned some lessons from this person. Spirit, can I have a couple of messages to conclude this reading for our Libra Collective? A couple more messages to conclude this reading for our Libra. Concluding this reading for our Libra. We have new moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. There are changes coming in for you. We got the tower card twice now. So. And it looks like it's going to be a good change. People, you're going to be highlighted. People are respecting you. Um, people are looking at what you've done and how you've done it, focusing on what you did previously. There's not much you have to do now. And shine, new moon in Leo. Shine. Like I said, people are already know how you are and how you handle yourself and what you're doing. So there's not really much you have to do to persuade people. People already know how awesome you are. So uh, just keep doing what you're doing. All right. Thank you so much.
Libras for joining me. Thank you for your energy and thank you for uh, clicking on that like button, subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, please see below in the description box on how to do that. Otherwise, I will catch you next time. Bye, Libra.